You know, sometimes when I'm walking down the street, I'm not necessarily looking out and seeing all these water-wasting lawns and, and people that aren't as connected to their neighbors and their lives as they could be. I'm walking down the street looking, going, edible oases, rainwater, fed landscape, and just looking at the possibility of these sort of landscapes up and down the streets of neighborhoods and communities all across this world. Small actions do ripple and they add up and they have a cumulative impact. And so when you're building upon your small mindful actions, you know, you have the confidence and the ability to take on something a little bit greater. So that could be nice. This in the context of where we're at as a planet with climate change and these really big issues and people that are more disconnected and less skilled than ever, it becomes even more amazing and powerful how much of a solution this is to design these ecological gardens and to come together with shared vision and shared voice. There's never been a time where your choices have mattered more. Doing something as simple as us transforming a landscape creates a model that anybody can look at far and wide and you're sharing food and connecting and building skills together in your own neighborhood. It's a richer way to live in normal times, but in the new normal of climate change and erratic weather and economic unheaval, it becomes essential. Whether it's me, you, Gandhi, Che, MLK, Willy Wonka, whoever, past, present, or future, the power of our daily actions is all that we have. You know, and like our community said, give me a place to stand and a lever long enough and I'll move the world. And that's what those simple actions do. They move the world every day.